The African Development Bank, ADBF, has agreed to an external review of an investigation that found no evidence of wrongdoing by its president, Akimumi Adeshina, after a shareholder dispute over the probe split the lender's board. The decision follows lobbying by the 60-year-old bank chief that took him to the capitals of countries, including Ghana, Senegal, and his home nation, Nigeria. In those meetings, additional urged the respective presidents to block calls from shareholders, including the U.S., the U.K., and Nordic countries for a fresh independent inquiry into allegations by unidentified whistleblowers that they awarded contracts to friends and relatives. And joining us via Skype to tell us more on the latest development is former Commission of Energy and Mineral Resources, Wale Oluwa. Thank you, Mr. Oluwa, for joining us on the news. Thank you very much. What's your take on the resurgence of this probe against Akimumi Adeshina? Well, I think it's part of boardroom politics that is played by shareholders in every organization. If an organization is a commercial and profit-oriented organization, the, the shareholders are there for their interests. So the United States that's pushing this is clearly pushing this for its own interest, and we must understand that. But an allegation is an allegation until it is properly investigated and the person is found guilty. Now, the initial investigation exonerated the president of the bank. The Americans are pushing for external investigation. My advice is this. You have to look at the allegation on its own and also look at the politics on the other side of it. On the political side, I think the president of the ADB should continue his extensive um, engagement with shareholders and the countries involved in order to be able to play the politics of it very well. Now, on the allegation, um, we have to be fair. If there are allegations, it is incumbent on the occupier of an office to submit himself or herself to investigation so as to clear his name. What is bad is for people to think he has something to hide and is trying to avoid the investigation. So my advice, he should submit himself to the investigation to clear his name, but it, it should go beyond that and play the politics very well because everything is about boardroom politics, everything is about shareholders politics, everything is about interest, and Nigeria must come out to protect our own, our own interests. And I'm very happy that uh, President Wari has thrown his weight behind this and the federal government of Nigeria. If he comes out clean, do you subscribe to him to still go ahead for second term? Absolutely. If it comes out clean, it should go ahead. If they say it's not clean, they are not a court of law. It should go further to establish its culpability in a court of law. This is just the boardroom. And where you have allegations of corruption, the boardroom will address it with respect to the corporate, uh, corporate governance and the ethics of the organization. But they are not a, a, a law court that can determine whether the person is guilty or not. So if they think, if he believes he's innocent, and they come out to say he's not innocent of those uh, uh, allegations, then he must go to court to establish his innocence and go through the process. That's my advice. Mr. Wale Olua, thanks for joining us on Plus TV African News. Thank you very much for having me. We'll take a quick break. When we return, more news.